future of energy generation. Current solar power methods are mostly spread out over land. But stationing solar arrays over water could help generate renewable energy. Thousands of cities around the world could power themselves entirely with solar panels floating atop water reservoirs. This is according to a new research published in the journal Nature. Solar panels are one of the cheapest and most efficient ways of generating electricity. But they, are, but they also take up a lot of space. Floating solar panels on reservoirs could produce three times as much electricity as the entire European Union. The study says that covering 30% of the surface of the world's 115,000 reservoirs with solar could generate some 9,400 terawatt hours of power annually. That's more than triple the energy production of the EU, which reached some 2,800 terawatt hours in 2021. So how does this work? Solar arrays suspended over water work similar to those spread out over land. The panels sit on a raft instead of parking lots, rooftops or other grounded mounts. But they haven't been deployed in many places around the world yet. As of 2020, they only produce electricity that's less than 1% of the world's land-based solar farms. Moreover, when land comes at a premium, planners can end up at loggerheads with farmers, local authorities and conservationists. Floating solar could provide a solution. They could also prevent water loss from evaporation. According to the study, installing solar panels would save enough water to supply 300 million people per year. And as the world heats up, keeping fossil fuels in the ground is increasingly important. For more on this, we are now being joined by Yehor Bryalan from Ukrainian capital of Kyiv. He is a journalist and a climate expert. Welcome to the broadcast, sir. Welcome. Mr. Bryalan, uh, the, the solar panels, uh, you know, require a lot of space, especially on land. And space on land comes at a premium. It also needs unshaded space. So this seems very promising idea. But I want to understand from you how practical is it to have 30% of the surface of the world's 115,000 reservoirs covered with solar panels? Well, first of all, uh, all renewable energy, and uh, in this case we are talking about solar panels, uh, is very important in uh, the green transition. So uh, the world uh, is moving uh, towards uh, more using of renewable energy, uh, not uh, depending on fossil fuels and um, the solar energy is very important because uh, it can uh, help us uh, it can help uh, provide people uh, with uh, more cheap energy and uh, but uh, also uh, the very uh, but also you need to have uh, this uh, uh, relief uh, uh, relief uh, because uh, if you if uh, your country has some mountains it will be problematic uh, to have some solar energy uh, if you have some steps as uh, for example in ukraine uh, we have step in the south of ukraine uh, we've had uh, some solar energy there uh, the same uh, with other countries. And uh, as far as I know, uh, India um, is moving uh, towards uh, uh, carbon zero, and uh, Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of India, uh, he promised uh, at COP26 in Glasgow uh, two years ago that uh, India will be uh, climate neutral by uh, 2070. And uh, it's a very good uh, prospect uh, for the future. 
Uh, and uh, what I can say about Ukraine uh, that uh, almost all uh, solar energy was either destroyed uh, yes. or put it by the Russian army. And so uh, uh, the world is moving towards uh, more diversified uh, energy system right. when uh, countries uh, will have uh, fossil fuels and at the same time solar energy and other renewables and uh, it's um, it's a very wise uh, decision uh, not to be dependent on yes. uh, particular type of energy right uh, uh, sir uh, you know solar is the future but how far is that future because some studies show that countries might need to devote up to five percent of their land area to solar panels in order to fully decarbonize and now this new idea of having these solar panels float on the reservoirs so how close is that future or how far is it to go solar and decarbonize your country your economy uh, so when we're talking about Ukraine, uh, we need to do a lot uh, because uh, we have to win uh, the war and uh, we have to occupy our territories. And uh, I would say that India, uh, I want to see India one of our main partners uh, in green transition because your country also want uh, to diversify your energy. And uh, w what I see in solar energy is to build uh, more uh, solar energy on the private houses and uh, to have more investments and uh, mm, it's uh, it's only about uh, private sector yes. it's not about uh, direct uh, financial aid uh, from uh, the foreign governments and uh, in Ukraine, uh, we would only welcome uh, investments from uh, Indian businessmen. Yes. And uh, it will help to unite uh, our efforts to have uh, this green transition and to become uh, a climate neutral country together. Right. Uh, Mr. Yehor Brailan, thanks very much for joining us with your perspective from Kyiv.